foraging bag for when we go on hikes, when we are trying to meet our goal of spending a thousand hours outside this year. It's perfect. This has batteries. We don't do batteries, do we boys? Uncle James brought back this handcrafted basket full of wild gathered mushrooms that he found in the Oregon forest. Ah, I can just feel my biome changing. A nice little wooden cash register. It's so perfect and the paint is lead free, but we are just gonna have to make a different credit card. That one's plastic. The Mitten by Jan Brett. Our goal is to look like this little boy right here. Any character in Jan Brett can be your fashion icon. Melissa and Doug, I'll allow it. Look at this cute wooden stool. They say toys should be open-ended. More child, less toy. Think of all the possibilities we have here, guys. This will be so much fun. Enlighten yourself. I like that mantra for our family. What is the paintbrush made out of? That's the important question. It's wood, you guys. That's staying in the keep pile. A treasures from Jennifer Calendar. It's gonna be so much fun for our homeschool room. Richard Scary is what do people do all day? Well, I can tell you what people do all day. They sit and watch TV, gather EMFs as many ways as they can. Mmm, I wonder if those cookies are organic. Oh, there's ice cream in this. Mmm, corn too. I bet that's genetically modified. Guys, I'm sorry, I think we're gonna donate this one. It's just not holding to our family values. Okay guys, it's time to take our fermented cod liver oil and concentrated butter oil. Oh, come on, it's chocolate flavor. It's delicious, watch, I'll take some first. Mmm. Tastes so good. Mmm. Listen, I'll make you a deal. If you guys take the fermented cod liver oil as a treat, you can have fermented garlic and honey. Okay, boys, it's time to cozy up and read some books together. Don't worry if some of the pages sound strange. I'm just making sure they align with our lifestyle. And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of sprouted organic oatmeal. When she got home, she asked, who will help me feed my sourdough? So he was sent to bed without eating anything. But then his mother came in the room immediately and lay down next to him and held him close and said, Max, I know you're just having a hard time. And then they went out and had some delicious supper together.